Oh, what's up, YouTube? Steve from Team Pro Panda. Today, we have another side decking video for you guys. Um, I believe these two cards belong in everyone's side deck, at least one or two copies. Um, it's just that powerful, and um, it's not a meta changer, but it's a meta controller. Uh, so what that means is this. Um, if you watch Dubkey Dad's video, he talked about this meta. He described it and predicted it as a herp dirt meta. Um, so I believe if you're not ready for the herping, you're not ready for the derping, you can get steamrolled. Um, so these two cards will certainly help against the current meta. Um, but before I get to this, I'll talk about uh, a few things. First is Mr. Jordan Falkenberry. I, I believe it's Falkenberry. And a lot of you actually messaged me talking about how he used a deck that's uh, pretty much identical to the deck that I posted uh, like uh, two weeks back or whatnot. Um, and then you guys are like, oh my god, he net decked you, etc., etc., etc. Well, the thing is, if he did, I have no proof he net decked me or not, uh, other than the fact that the decks are identical. And if he did, I'm nothing but like, I feel honored. I feel very, very honored. I feel very happy. I'm very stoked that he like he did so well with the deck. And and it, when I saw like his name there, I saw the deck. I was like, oh my god, this guy's awesome. But anyway, um, so if he did cut the deck off my channel, that that that's pretty cool. So if Jordan, if you're watching this, um, come say what's up. I want to do a, pre a player profile like a like a player interview discussion thing with you so i can figure out like you know what i can do to improve the deck and and i want to like hear your experience with the deck at ycs orlando and what's up so um if you're watching this bro hit me up so that's that uh second things we're making new mat videos there are new cool things we're doing with mats now and um they're very spiffy we're still selling about roughly seven mats a week so like that's pretty good um but we got something cool so you can just get really excited about that and that new video is coming up very soon um finally uh please sub we're actually trying to get to 2000 sub uh by the end of september so we have a few months about three months to get like you know, another like 600 700 subs um so definitely sub 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 and on top of that sub to one of my um yugi tube idols quote unquote and that's a uh, time on pm uh he recently came back and um I, I he is one of the reasons why i decided to make this channel and whatnot so he came back so go, go sub to him i'll have this link in the bottom so that is that so let's go right into these cards um the first is this right here debunk so a lot of you like saw me talk about this card before and it's recommended to me by um mike aremus and uh, at first i'm like okay cool it's it, it's good it hits the hand it hits the grave um all right but now i really look at it and like mike is a fucking genius and i know that already and i love him but anyways oh here is why debunk is so broken in this format and why it's so necessary i actually compile a small list of all the stuff that i think like debunk will help against um I, I might miss one or two things but just by looking at this list i can see why this card is so powerful in controlling the herp derping um so some basic debunk stops everything from like here negate the activation of an effect monster effect that activates in the hand or in the grave and remove from play so it negates and remove it cool so first of all you can't it's a counter trap so that's badass and secondly because they negate and remove and then they gain destroy you can't really um start a set per se or well, you can't start it because of counter either way all right so um first thing we're against obviously is honest Kalu. Um, it works against Great Keeper Commandant when it trap picture of Neko Valley. Um, it works against Spore. It can work against Dandy. It can work against Glow Bulb. It can work against Sangan. It can work against Card Tripper. So when it sends the graveyard, you can actually flip this thing. He will not draw one. It remove a monster from his grave. So the key cannot, like, you know, part of average back. Um, and when a fairy deck comes out, it works against the Elk, uh, so that's really powerful. Uh, it also works against, uh, what is it, Herald of Orange Light, so that's really, really good against that deck. Um, it works against Dark Soul, and it works against pretty much all the, the TG monsters, so like the whole, the, the, were, the Werewolf, the uh, Rhino, all that good stuff, just works against all that. And of course, it works against GK Recruiter as well. So pretty much, and virtually, it works against all searchers and floaters that are dominating this meta. Um, but there are two cards that work really well against that a lot of people don't really like know or notice. 
and is that this card actually work against absolute zero if it's sent to the graveyard because um i believe leave the field cards activate after it left the field so if it says remove then you activate in the remove pile if it's composed then you activate in the side deck and uh, the extra deck um but if it's sent to the graveyard then you should you know logically work in the graveyard or active in the graveyard and that's the sense you can definitely debunk it and another card that's completely just dominated in meta is reborn tengu same exact thing um if reborn tengu is sent to the graveyard then you activate in the graveyard uh and when you activate in the graveyard you can go debunk and remove it and have another one come out so it kills that chain not only that removes it so they cannot pop average it um the three tengu back in the day and go tengu again so it, it kills the whole entire tengu loop and it's just that in itself so so powerful so debunk i believe it belongs to everyone's side deck actually i have two in mind because um the ycs orlando winner mr travis missingale um he ran um he ran what is it like zombie plants something something but anyways the point i'm getting at though is because um the zombie engine and the plant engine based so much around activating in the graveyard um so you can go around you know uh you can get around stuff like you know necro valley um debunk is your answer debunk is definitely your answer and of course you work against gk as well so it's just all around extremely powerful card um the second one is my personal favorite i have much to say about it and that's dd warrior lady um i find myself citing this card in almost against everything because i believe in this current format um if gb is coming back um a lot of them's gonna run three forbidden lands so they're gonna have a lot of like you know negation and whatnot uh and you cannot you cannot stop lands with seven tools so that's a big problem however if you, you can stop you know the war chariot that's why dd war later is so powerful so if you attack and they drop lands on you can still remove it and you can protect yourself with the seven tools so um again these are the mvp of the side deck in this format um at least that is what i believe and at least that's been what's working out for me so that's that um thanks for watching give yourself some debunks and i'll talk to you guys later